This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It's certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. 
and these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. And something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. All right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. That was the boss lady. 
Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. This hangover might need some preventative medicine. Trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso! Nice work! Hey, you need a hand? No, you? Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. was on the wall to the left of the gate. Waiting on my say so, I had to move. The great thing about being famous as well as rich 
is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? <clears throat> Falando com meus homens assim. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ah, me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Max. 
this album. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm. Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my nigga! Oh, Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one.
seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians, some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. A little consolation prize for having my assault on the free bar cut short. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or, in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got him. They came out They came They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. Another delay I didn't need. 
This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one. All this unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Much as I liked to indulge in self-reflection, this wasn't the time. Ah, don't shoot, por favor! You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college at Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos' luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. I'd gone head first through a glass window. I deserved a little something for the pain. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I 
guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and the Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Hey, Anna, look, there they are. Hey, Anna, please, Anna. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you gotta do something. Come on, get the rifle back there. Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. This is not ficando vergonhoso. Ela não vale a pena. Temos a mulher branca. 
Foi por isso que viemos aqui. O Serrano vai cortar nosso saco, se é... Odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. Maybe that's why we got along. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. I had already wasted enough time. If I had any hope of saving her, I had to move now. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What, do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. 
My God. It's Raul. Giovanna! Raul! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <coughs> hey. No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. As much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. It's probably that street gang trying to get at me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Sem fazer barulho, sem fazer cagada, hein? Ei, vocês aí, parado, filho da puta! Ei, ei, ei! Ele é cama. Parado aí, parado! Parado, 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 parado. Bota essa arma no chão! Ei, put the gun down, put down your gun. Bota essa arma no chão agora! Slow, slow, slow. Não faça nada, estúpido. Me mostra o dinheiro. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa! Easy, pal, easy. Vem! Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. Bullets came from long range. Well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Damn! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. 
Move it, man, move it! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go. <sighs> Hold on. Wait here a second. Oh, not a problem. <sighs> <sighs> All the fun. <coughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve up, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get this Commando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on, come on. Asos had done a good job with the bandage, and an even better job with the pills. I couldn't feel my arm anymore. I couldn't feel much of anything, which was the way I liked it. Mr. Victor Bronco. For all his friends in high places, he had just as many enemies. Sao Paulo lived and died this game, that day more than most. Você está em uma festa glamourosa e opa! Tem uma mancha vermelha na sua camisa. Felizmente existe. Dissolve. Coloque dissolve na máquina de lavar e apague os pecados de ontem. Dissolve. Como se nunca tivesse acontecido. This is INC. A star midfielder for one of Sao Paulo's most famous clubs, Galatians, was killed in a bloody shootout at a local nightclub. A witness who captured this video said there was a fight between gang members and private security forces. It is not yet known whether this was a targeted hit or if the football star was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
Also in the attack, Fabiana Branco, the young wife of a prominent local businessman, Rodrigo Branco, was kidnapped. Mr. Branco's brother, Victor, currently serves as a federal deputy in Sao Paulo and is planning to run for mayor in next year's municipal elections. A new report by a team of sociologists from the U.S. says the widening wealth gap is leading to a host of unforeseen social and psychological issues for people on both sides of the divide, including both an increase in crime and greater fear of crime, and rise in depression, drugs, and alcohol abuse across all socioeconomic groups. Meu amor, minha vida, minha Amélia, meu amor por você cresce a cada dia que essa barriguinha aumenta. Oh, Lourenço Augusto, meu amor, meu amor. Ai, Amélia, quando você fala meu nome assim, eu me derreto de amor. Ah, meu amor, meu amor. Meu Deus, Marina. Lourenço Augusto, não posso mais ver mentindo pra gente mesmo. Lourenço Augusto, quem é essa biscate? Eu me entrego todo pro amor dela. Me entrego pra Marina, ela é minha vida. O corpinho dela é um violão e desculpa, Amélia, mas eu caí no encanto dela. Eu amo ela e não mais você. É verdade. Esse corpinho lindo, cheio de curvas, tá esperando por ele. E outra, eu não sou caída, flácida e cheia de celulite que nem você, sua biscate. O que foi que você disse, sua Kenga? Você não é uma dama. Sou sim. Sou uma dama na cama com seu marido, uma meretriz. Sua vagabunda! Eu vou acabar com você! Ah! Morre, sua vaca! Au! Não, não! Separa, não! Solta! Não! Perua! Ai! Puta! Ai! 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 Eu vou dar a luz! Eu vou dar a luz! Meu nenê, Lourenço! Lourenço Augusto, meu nenê! Ai, meu Deus! Eita, pô! Esse aí não é meu filho! Meu Deus! Meu nenê é um curupira! Three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. Let's see if this thing works. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Ah, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? What we got here? Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. He's a filho da puta. Heads up. Here comes friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'll cover you. We're gonna do this? It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians will be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. You're wasting time, man! Son of a bitch! Okay. About the same as before. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. You know there's no shooting in it, right? More trophies and game plans. 
It had been a very long time since I'd had one of either. Let's go, Max. It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. They seem nice enough. Sai, sai, vou, vou, pega, pega os caras, pega os caras. Were they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! Enough for a professional athlete, it was good enough for me. A little late to be giving him his last rights, don't you think? Look at this flatjack. This is high end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to pull from it. I needed something to improve my game. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. Why do I always get to go first? 
The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. It was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. was getting annoying. How the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your headset on. Don't deal with the guy until the other side of the fence. You take the other. Whatever you say. Inside. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? Quem é a menina? Ah, é alguma alpinista social, hein? Casada com algum cara aqui. Mesmo mesma história de sempre. A primeira está aqui! Exactly what it sounds like!
I don't know. Looking for something that ain't here, I guess. Claudio, your golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. I hear you. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I'm guessing nowhere nice. Sign of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right, I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. Clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? Shit. Oh, dang, I'm ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I'm making a run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me.
here, Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. God, God damn it! Max! Shit! Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right wing guns for hire, ex cops, military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Jesus, they've shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. Come on. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldiers. <laughs> way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. destroyed Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. This is a 
bad idea. Make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Hey, let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old man, here. old man! It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say? Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap fucking it up, funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or... Yeah. How you got involved with killers? Oh. <laughs> I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, don't disrespect my guys. family. You ain't got the right. Huh? Hey, don't, you, don't take that from this punk toy. I ain't taking nothing from him. God I'm hasn't already deprived him of it. But I'm oh, a star! Any time. Now say you're Get sorry. You say fucking you're sorry. ass-been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away sorry, from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop card. Don't act clever. Yeah, I will blow your look brains look all, all over this Fuck counter. This every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun oh, down now. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before any of you get shot. I got you. Who the see. fuck are you? I got you. I'm Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. Get you, I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay I'm right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from. All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. 
I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúde. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. But I'm full. Saúde. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. What you Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. I know he brought a fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it! Oh, shit! Jesus Christ, they're throwing that at this thing! See what's waiting outside for us. Well, it gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Always in moderation. Let's see what they got for us. The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. Can we, please?
it stopped. I told you it stopped. We're fine. What do you mean we're fine? Come on, huh? We're not fine. Oh, we're not fine. And what's the boss gonna say when he finds out we're sitting out here jerking off when it's Chinese fucking New Year in there? Those were the orders. It takes a few bullets to drop a cop. Yeah, it does take a few bullets. Maybe it takes that many if you're trying to make fucking cop soup. Hey, stop now. It's cool. It's cool, that's right. Cool. Jesus, we're in Hoboken, not Kabul, okay? Give me a break, look, I'm gonna, oh, 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 I'm gonna go check this out, okay? Fuck you! <laughs> thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. He could have been setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You, I want on every doorway. And you guys, I want every fucking corner coming. About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard. Made a hundred angry grease balls. Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne. Yeah, that Max looks about Payne! right. Max Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Oh, you're not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga!
guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun, just a stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years. Hey, you fucking dead! Shh, shh, my boy. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed! Cleansed in fire! No, no! It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. Rent was going to have to be lowered in the building. That was something the tenants committee could thank me for. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there.
gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again, the target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Help there, brother? I need his help. Five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. Scotch won't do the job. You settling in here? Come on, let's go! Come on. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck?
leather. There's plenty here, don't beg it. This don't show the blood so much. Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? How's this look? Okay. Around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? Uh... You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiente River. Looking for what, we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. So why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's gotta be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Passos had brought us to the right place. 
That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. scene was somewhere I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all.
that was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. A dor. Qual idade vem a dor? É dor de cabeça, dor de estômago, dor na virilha, dor nas juntas, dor de ressaca. É por isso que existe Interfecto. Interfecto é um analgésico forte para dor forte. This is INC. We have reports of more violence erupting in Panama, where citizens are still reeling from this attack two months ago. Colombian paramilitary group United Souls of the People, or AUP, have been waging a campaign of violence and terror in the area around Bastidas, despite government attempts to stabilize the region. Staying in Latin America, an explosion of violence in Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo, as much publicized initiatives to stop feuding between favela gangs and the police have completely failed. Some local activists blame much of the city's problems on the activities of right-wing groups Cracha Preto and Nova Garda, who they accuse of vigilante-style attacks in the areas of the city where police have lost control. Some human rights organizations report a slew of missing persons in the city, a topic that many observers say local law enforcement isn't taking seriously. This turmoil is shaping up to be a hot topic in next year's mayoral election. Right-wing candidate Victor Bronco was once a front-runner, but is now falling behind in the polls. <laughs> well, there may be some political storm clouds out there, but the sun is shining in many regions today. Over to Marisol with the weather. Here we go again. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. cocaine factory, but I'd, it seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. next circle of this low-rent hell.
These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared, proper little boy scout. Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. I had to keep on going across the docks. find a way to close the sluice gate so I could get across. I prefer to mix these with alcohol, but on this special occasion I'd make an exception. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
Max! Max! You all right? What's going on? Where's they, Fabiana? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident chump of going into the jungle alone. Shit, no company!
If you get these guys out of our path! For a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, 
Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Eles estão aí? O que, que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Con licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva? Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <gasps> Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's 
go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Hey, Max! That was the office Victor used at Fabricast Bronco. Max. Victor's office had second son written all over it, half the size of Rodrigo's and a tenth as fancy. Marcello's must have been a box in the basement. I didn't have time to thumb through the old phrase book Portuguese, but it looked like Victor was asking for campaign contributions. Rodrigo held the family purse strings, and by the looks of it, he held them pretty tight. Let's keep they'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What the hell? Go. It's through here. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. It's through here. the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? I go here, you go there. Get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. 
We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. One of the perks of working for Fabricas Bronco. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, Something caught my eye. Figures. <laughs> Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Don't die here. Move. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Shit. If I survived this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard.
Rodrigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Don't die here. Move. The only way out was to use that filing cabinet. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? That Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather.
Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was gonna have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs>